Hello, I'm Florian Friedrich and I will show you how to analyze MaxCLL and MaxFall values using HDI Master version 2. So first of all, we need to open a file. This can be an MP4 container like this here, or it can be frame sequences, HEVC, elementary streams. And once we opened it, we have an analyzer, which we need to open. And here in the analyzer window, on the far left side, there is meta CLL. And the first thing we need to do, um, we could obviously look at the current frame and see the max CLL max fall values here. But it's better to perform an analysis of the file. I will start the process. It will ask for where to store the results as a CSV files and I will save it. So of course the process needs to decode the video and analyze each and every frame. So it takes a while depending on the content and the speed of uh, the machine that you have. And once the process is done, uh, the CSV file will be written and it will contain all the max CLL and max fall values for each and every frame. The process is done and we have some results. So in this specific video file, our max CLL maximum here is at 10,000 nit frame zero. That's obviously because we have some uh, color patches in here and uh, luminance patches, of course. And uh, max fall values are, you know, the highest 455 nit at frame 124. We might take a look at this frame later on to see, you know, why this is the brightest scene or so. But for now, let's close the window. Uh, yeah, by the way, the uh, the summarized results are stored in a separate file, so you can access them after you've done the process. So once the analysis has been performed, we are able to change the scale, for example. Let's see everything up to 10,000 nit. And I have a log scale enabled here because we really see much more when we look at levels in the log scale. As soon as I change the position in the video mm, to something later maybe we see the indicator here that's the current frame we're looking at and those are the values so we are at 1000 nit uh, max CLL here and at about 100 nit max fall the diagram overlay can be freely adjusted so for example if you want to change the size of the diagram we can do it like this um, we can change all the colors and uh, the thickness of the of the lines like this. And if we want to report something, we can export an image and store it next to the video. Another way of doing the exact same thing is using the command line tool. So HDR master can be used as a command line utility as well. And I've created some batch examples for that. So we can just double click this batch file example. And then HDR master will do its magic in analyzing the example MPEG4 file here. We just need to wait until it's finished. Okay, so after the analysis has finished, we will find additional files next to the video. And here we have summarized results. So this is the summary for the video. And also we have the CSV file, which tells us all the statistic values across the video content. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.